As we all know, today we are commemorating, or rather celebrating, the first State Open Javelin Throw Cup Championship 2020. To celebrate our much decorated Olympian Niraj Chopra, the first Indian ever to win gold medal in athletics event with a distance of 87.58 meters. That was the distance he threw, I believe, in the Olympics, in Tokyo Olympics 2020, which, as you all know, because of the COVID, was postponed to July 2021. The reason that we are celebrating this is <clears throat> to instill inspiration among the young, younger generation and the athletes to look at his achievement and maybe get inspiration to follow suit and also try to become a gold medalist one day in the Olympic. One gold medal among 1.4 billion Indians, to me, is a far cry. Not because Indians are not talented, or in general, or the Nagas are not talented in particular. But the main reason, I believe, is because we lack platforms where our young boys and girl athletes get opportunity to compete, to hone their skills. Today, having realized this, the AFI, better known as the Athletic Federation of India, has initiated this whole noble task of celebrating Nira Chopra's gold to instill, as I said earlier, inspiration in our young generation and to become the next Niraj Chopra. We are grateful to the Nagaland Athletics who has reposed their responsibility to the Dimapur Athletics to conduct this first step Olympic under uh, Javelin Championship under the aegis of AFI, the Athletic Federation of India. However, the preparation for the conduct of this event would not have been possible without the support of our district administration. And so at this moment, I would like to take a moment to thank our district administration, the Deputy Commissioner, and also would like to thank our guest of honor today, the additional Deputy Commissioner, Srimati Mahalo Hunsoy, who has graciously accepted our invitation to grace this occasion as the guest of honor. Madam, I believe your presence here and the exhortation that you are going to give will definitely be an inspiration to our younger generation. And we look forward uh, with eager to hear the words of encouragement. Seeing that so many students are here, and so many athletes are gathered here today. I challenge you. I challenge you and I also challenge the coaches, the parents, every one of us here to change our mindset and take forward what our forefathers have been doing. That we are basically an athlete, a sports person. Now why am I saying that this is because it is believed that to be a good sports person, you need to have something in your genes. They say that 35% of a good athlete come from the genes they have. 25% maybe the uh, uh, coaching, the coach pushing and motivating. Or 15% maybe the environment, the facilities that you have. Or maybe 5% maybe the sheer luck of whether you are at the right place at the right time or getting the right opportunity at the right time. But what I want to emphasize today and tell you that is that all of us, we have it in our genes. Please hone it. Hone your skill and to 
come up to the level of Niraj Chopra, that whom we are celebrating today, whom the whole country is celebrating today. Javelin was introduced in Olympics in 1908. It took us a country of so such a huge population, more than a century to bring one Olympic gold medal. So today, I want to challenge you and provoke your thoughts. Where have we gone wrong? I think it is not a, 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 a single reason for that. It is not a single reason. It is all of us. I would like to also say that nowadays education is incomplete without the involvement of sports and games. As children are actually naturally drawn to sports. They are naturally drawn to sports. Society is still unaware of its importance or is neglecting it blindly. Are we ready to think about the truth that everyone knows, that is, health is wealth? I also take this opportunity to congratulate the organizers and also congratulate the participants because today, the athletes, whether you win or you lose, at the end of the competition, you all are winner. You all are going to be winners. Because you must have learned something from your teammates or from your competitors, which is going to serve you lifelong. You're going to gain experience. And this event, this competition, I hope will instill discipline, will instill self-discipline, will instill, will build your confidence not only in the sporting event, but as you go a long way in your life, it will help you develop your personality and bring more success in your life. So I wish you all the athletes all the best.